All right, well, tonight in the car with me is Sewell Halloran, longtime uh, community volunteer, longtime resident of Gresham. Thanks for riding with me, Sue. Well, thank you, Mayor. I'm very glad to be here. Yeah, so we're going to go, we're going to take a little ride through uh, downtown. We're going to go to the uh, plaza, the Arts Plaza, and we've got a little event going down there tonight, right? We do, Music yeah. Mondays. So tell me about Music Mondays. Well, you know, Music Mondays has been around um, for a whole number of years now, Mayor. Yeah. It started out as maybe just lunchtime and for business people and um, other people said well why aren't you having this in the evening yeah so for the last oh i think now seven eight years we've done 6 30 to 8 every monday in july and august with um, professional musicians stage event great sound and yeah. lights and well, so it's quite the production seems like these it days. Growing it does. Year. Yeah. In August, we've had oh, somewhere I think around 2,500, 3,000 oh, wow. folks yeah. come. Yeah. So it is truly a party on the plaza. Ah, wow, that's great. And so uh, the group that puts it on is the Center for the Arts Center Foundation. Center for the Arts Foundation. Young people that are moving to the community with young families or whatever. One of the number one things they always tell me is how much they love walking downtown to Music yes. Mondays. So that's pretty cool. True. Yeah. Well, and I think that is the great thing about Music Mondays is because it is um, small children, it's the grandparents, and um, it is the youth as well who pop in from time to time as well. So yeah. um, it isn't something that just people who are dedicated to hearing some music. This really is about coming together on a summer evening. Yeah. What makes great city? Yeah, it sure it? does. It sure does. You have a real estate company in town. I do, yep. right, right downtown. Although, of course, we do business all over the area. Yeah. But our heart is right here. That is helping make downtown happen, and it's been really a thrill from way back when, starting when we had so many empty storefronts. Yep. To see now, when you and I just drove down town, we saw people walking all over the place. Yep, it's great. It's great to see. It's what do you um, what do you think the state of the city is for Russia right now? Well, I think it's one of the most interesting things is that Gresham has actually begun to define itself. Yeah. And um, so we have to find ourselves as really about families and children. Yeah. We did that a few years ago, and it really was a natural evolution. So I am really excited about that part of it. Yeah. But the other part of it is the fact that we've been able really to incorporate arts and cultural events and, and sculptures. Yeah, I think you hit it right on the head at least what we're we've been trying to do is stay completely focused on kids yes, and families right. and build everything around that because if we get that right it seems like we then, get it all then right. how can you fail right yeah. right so we have businesses coming into town all yeah. the time larger ones but this is also a community that thrives with small business That's right. and small business is that opportunity for young families to make their way to That's right That's yeah. right that's great. Well, That's important to me. It is. Yes. Yeah. Uh, well, it looks like it's packed out there. Should we go check it out? We should. Let's do it. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Bemis, for being with us tonight. My name is Kayla Viramontes, and on behalf of Center for the Arts Foundation, we're pleased to have Remedy with us this evening. Well, you know, Mayor, this town is really an exciting place to be these days, absolutely, isn't it? Absolutely. Yes. So um, I think just from my real estate world that the number of developers who are really experienced, knowledgeable, and come, come with some money, yeah, it's that's good, good yeah. uh, that they're recognizing the opportunities that are still yeah. here. And uh, the fact that we have some really good things going on here and they want to fit in with us. That's right. Do what works best for Gresham. That's great. I mean, Gresham is uh, a uh, 
committed community to the businesses that are here, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, like they support each other in a way that I think is probably pretty rare. It is rare. Um, we talk a little bit about some of the development, you know, that's coming along yes. with with here, and there's some new development on that side. But right. the goal is to have all, development all, all around the All of this development plaza. around here. These are older, small, back to you know, those days in the 1950s yeah. where one level, yeah. small buildings were built. And those are the pieces now that yep. developers are really beginning to look at. Yep. And recognizing, <laughs> thanks to you as well, that this is a very well-run city. Yeah. This community has regularly said we need these kinds That's of right. ways to get together. Yes. And so when we say we're doing trick or treat or whether yeah. we're doing, you know, yeah. whatever it is we think of to do, it is about gathering people right. in ways that they can get to know and feel comfortable yeah. and feel safe. Well, Sue, thanks for spending the evening with me. Thanks for <laughs> Thank your you, many Mayor. years of service to this yes. community. You should be very proud of uh, where we're standing, what's uh -huh. happening, and everything that's going on in this city. Longtime community volunteers. On behalf of all of the citizens of Gresham, thank you for all you've done over the years. Thank you. Thank it's you. my pleasure. All right. <laughs> Great city.